New artists fail at making their first $1,000 simply because one, they don't have a product to sell, two, it means they can't upsell now, and three, it's simply because the purchase process is not easy enough for the consumer. So, problem is you gotta figure out a viable product to come up with to sell to the fans that are your listeners, but at the same time, you gotta get yourself out of that stereotypical struggling artist scenario phase. And we're gonna talk about this coming up right here on the Music Money Makeover Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. My name is Casey Graham, let's hop right in. All right, so we gotta create at least a $10 product to sell. You all have been hearing this for the past couple episodes. So when you start out, a $10 product is important because it's enough for the new supporter to feel like they aren't being cheated and it's just expensive enough for you to handle customer processing and demand. So anything more than this without a team and you're asking for trouble. I mean, you might be able to push it to 20, but if customer demand increases and you have to handle customer service, just understand that's coming. You wanna offer things like digital downloads. I'll keep going to it again. Doesn't have to be all music. It could be other digital download stuff. Poster and sticker packs, gift packs. It could be even the the, uh, the visuals to the posters for people to go get printed, you know what I mean? Um, so all of this right here can be done at a $10 price point for real. I think Chance the Rapper on his three website, I don't know if it's still his main website now, but when he came, he had everything that was like inexpensive, like posters. I think he had a pen. He had some stickers. It was stuff that you could get that was inexpensive that people would buy that wouldn't cost you a lot to fulfill. And I know you don't know what fulfillment is, but I understand it's like Amazon fulfillment. Now, we want to funnel these fans. In the beginning, you will have people that you touch who want to support you. So whatever your offer is, has to be done via social media or streaming service as an upsell to their experience. Either way, the fan must be upsold on their experience with you. And your first funnel should always be as easy as hit the link in my bio to purchase, which leads to our next step. Check it out. Make the purchase process easy. In the beginning, you'll want to have a means of selling people quickly. You may not understand this now, but you'll love what is called one-click selling. All you gotta do is Google that, one-click selling. Believe it or not, your customer loves it too. Without one-click selling, it would be very difficult to move cash to your pockets fast, especially when let's say you don't, you might not even have the website done and you're just gonna need a page where people can purchase. You're gonna love one-click selling. Shopify and Standout Store are examples of one-click selling websites, okay? One-click selling does get expensive. It does, but it is very efficient. I just wanna say that because this is gonna allow your fans to really enjoy their purchases very quickly. And it's just, it's just gonna be an all around great, pleasant experience when you don't have a staff. Now, I feel like the fans need music first, not a product, I hear you. You're right, they do. But you will have people who want to be your early adopters and something that makes them wear that badge early will be greatly appreciated by them and your pockets. Cause these are the people that are gonna show up to the concert or you might see them at a meet and greet somewhere and it's four years down the line or they show up to your concert and you know that they got that from your online shop and it's something different than what you sell at the concerts. And so you can appreciate, you can identify the real fans. So you're gonna, this, this is gonna be a great all around experience for you. Well, why so cheap? Well, in the beginning, again, customer management and order fulfillment will be a big learning curve. So you'll want to start small. The last thing you need is to have to deal with customer service while you're trying to create. So you wanna automate this process. Automation is gonna be your keys to success when you have a very small team. Now, selling is not my thing. Couldn't I just wait until my fan base grows? There is no rush on monetizing your fan base early, but you will know when the season comes that requires money. What will happen is you will need money to flow into the business to support itself so you can appeal to new managers and even leverage things like credit to help you grow. This income will be necessary, okay? So if you already have money coming in, then the manager is gonna say, all right, let's figure out a way to get more of this in and you can go back to creating or we can create together, whatever. I mean, I know you're building your own operation, but you're gonna need your manager to manage something, okay? And they're gonna wanna have the money keep coming in. Here's what I suggest. Start with one product that packs value, something that people can hold on to and not store away. 
It will take some creative thinking, but when you get it right, you'll start making money very quickly from your initial supporters, which means you're going to need a foundation to handle all this stuff. Now, for those of you all who have been watching me, you know where I'm going, but I want to say this because I said it a couple episodes ago. I may reiterate this from now until the end of the year. The IRS is issuing their 1099Ks this year. Last year, they said, don't worry about it. We fumbled the ball. Last year, a 1099K was set up for $20, a $20,000 threshold, meaning that if you earn on PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, $20,000 or less, you would not be taxed on that. For just you know income coming in, people giving you gifts, maybe you're getting payments for whatever, whatever reason. Now the threshold has been lowered all the way down to $600. So if you're making your side hustle income on there, you will be taxed self-employment tax just as if you had an LLC. The only difference is you can't write anything off without the LLC. Now, this is becoming a problem because a lot of y'all are waiting to make your money and build your fan base before you get your company started. We ain't in that place no more, man. So what I did was I built something called the 60 Day Record Label. Check it out. This is the 60 Day Record Label course. So if you're an artist, a songwriter, a new music producer, a new music executive who wants to build a record label or publishing company in 60 days or less without searching the internet for all the how-tos and getting stuff confused, I put everything in one place for you to make it happen very quickly, fast, and efficiently. So we're gonna build a strong LLC foundation to tackle what's going on right now with the IRS. You'll learn how to play the game via contract because you're gonna need that to know how to maneuver, and you'll be set up to collect domestic and international publishing royalties without the middleman taking 15%. So if you end up tripping and falling through this course, which you shouldn't because many don't, but if you do, I got you covered. You can always book a call with me and we'll go through it. But all the stuff you see on the right-hand side is included below. So you can click the link right down beneath this video to get started today. If this is your first time watching the show, please grab my free stuff, 10 Major Steps to Increase Your Record Label's Profits with the free split sheet included uh, with the download. Now, if you add these steps to your plan, you'll get an early education on selling to your fans, which allows you to perfect how you approach them about the product. So when you get bigger, fans won't feel like you're begging them for money, which I've seen people do this. And it's kind of embarrassing. Or they'll come out with merch and then they'll just like oversell, oversell, oversell. And you don't want to do that. OK, you can be aggressive because I know I'm aggressive with selling all day. You know what I mean? But you don't you don't want to feel like, oh, man, like you just coming out with merch now. Why is it so expensive? Like you didn't have time to fill out the entire process. So if you start later you'll have less time to perfect the process because you're going to be a lot more busier, which means less room for error. And you'll be strapped for cash much more than early on in the process of you just naturally escalating the business. All right. So we don't want to end up here. We want to be right over here. All right, Music Money Maker. So if you were struggling with creating the product, crafting the funnel and making it easy for the customer to purchase this product right here, you now at least have some knowledge or some means to go out and be that full-time musician that you always wanted to be. Music Money Makers, log on to musicmoneymakeover.com, jump into the 60-day record label course right down below, download the free stuff right down below, book a call with me one-on-one -on, -one on musicmoneymakeover.com, and I'll see you next time. Peace.